Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another Banner Reaction. I'm DTM, as always, and I brought along with me a very special guest and a returning friend of the channel. Why don't you introduce yourself, Theron? How's it going, everyone? My name is Theron, back again for another little reaction with DTM. And once again, DTM, thank you for having me. It's always a joy. Yes, it's, it's my pleasure. And this <laughs> time around, I guess the Ninja Banner is returning, and we have some very interesting silhouettes. Looks like Shershi. Yeah is going to be a part of this unless like is basis right it it has to be her just because that's the uh exact same bat wing headdress that she always has so it's guaranteed her you say that say, though, <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's it's her all right but i will say though people have been theorizing that the right unit from the silhouettes was har which would be interesting mm -hmm. but also they said that this could possibly be a all quote unquote wyvern uh flyer banner because Shirsh are they both ride wyverns in their games. Yep. So we could see like maybe Baruka, Jill, maybe Camilla. Anybody who's a wyvern rider in their games. Maybe this oh, is Oh god. Yeah. <laughs> I avoided saying Camilla only because Baruka still needs an alt just like Shirsh. So Well, we'll see whether or not Baruka will get her alt. At last, I okay. <laughs> Baruka would definitely fit a ninja theme banner. Let's be she honest. would. She definitely would. Yeah, but I don't see why Baruka can't get an alt <laughs> over Camilla. Okay, who already has like eight billion unit alts. It, come on. Well, let's look at the reaction in that case. As always, if you like the, <laughs> I feel like we're going to go on a huge rant. But anyways, uh, Probably. before we do, be sure to like, subscribe, hit the bell, all that jazz, not only to my channel, but to Theron's channel as well. The link to that will be in the description down below. And yeah, let us begin. Here we go. Here we go. Who's it going to be? Okay, I that's it's Camilla. Oh my god. Wait, Camilla's not the duo? None of this is easy. That me. is an interesting choice. I do yeah. Just stand out. Wait. Oh my god, and Sencha's back for oh, Sencha another Ninja banner. It's friend ended with a uh, corn. I'm sorry, Camilla Seal 4. New. Oh boy. Camilla's my new friend. <laughs> <laughs> I honestly hope that it wouldn't you have been Camilla, but okay. Too. Don't worry, that just means Baruka is going to be the duo, right? Oh. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. Alright, this is... Uh, Sh there she is. There she is. Yep. Okay, also 5-star exclusive. She looks mission, really good. I really like this outfit on her. Kind of work, but oh, Kaya ate through her. Let's go. Yeah. It, attack death hole. That's new? That's interesting. It is. Wait, is that adaptive huh? damage on that axe? I the honestly missed it, so I wouldn't know. I saw something. Who's next? Uh oh! This oh. is uh What's his name? His name. Yeah. Keith. Yes, Keith. yes, yes, yes. Okay. Yeah, whoa. So it actually is going to be an all wifern flyer banner. It will. Oh boy. Pulse smoke on uh Demos on the special is interesting. I I care more about the catch three than I do anything else. No, that's true. But who's gonna be the duo? Yeah. Oh! Oh! Oh shoot! Let the shipping let the shipping commence. <laughs> this is awesome. Let the shipping commence. Legion, of course, as the lead too. And I'm once again, Kaboon. You. Of course. Yeah. All right. Uh, these seal skills are interesting. Hopefully, they're better than the tier three skills. versions. Anything is better than tier three seal. Self dance? Yes, self dance. Yep. But this is a bow, a blue bow. Mm-hmm. Also, I think that's attack res catch that they have, not oh, sensor so speed. So maybe, maybe yeah. this, you know, remember sure. how like last time, I think it was like true damage. Maybe this From gimmick right now is adaptive damage. Your life Probably. Yeah. So yeah. Okay, who's go- yep, Wait. I just saw Har. Yeah, I just saw <laughs> Yep. Right there. Well then. Yep. All right. So... Very interesting banner. I really like it, actually. I'm actually more surprised about Har because mm -hmm. technically he's already a TT or GHB unit. Right. Now he's going right back into the Grail pool again. 
we know that real Har is too powerful, so IS has to constrict him as a gra Very true. grail unit. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and take a look at these units and their skills. Yeah, definitely very interesting, to say the least. Yeah. Camilla finally got an alt after, like, what, three years, I think, was her last alt? Even though she already has 8 billion. Uh, that doesn't matter. What matters is the rates, okay? <laughs> Alright. I mean, I can't complain because I'm a Lucina fan and I still want more Lucina alts. So anyways... Uh, <laughs> well, fair. Let's... Same with me for Azura's. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going to go ahead and read Flowery Scroll. Um, accelerate Special Trigger. Grants... Defense res plus 5 and inflicts speed minus 8 on unit. Unit attacks twice. That's an interesting... Um... Oh, that's just... I think that's just regular brave effects, right? Uh, no, regular no. brave... No. Yeah, no. It's a bit boosted from brave, because it's not really like speed minus 5, I think. Mm -hmm. It's slightly boosted. Yeah. Okay, anyways. Uh, unit attacks twice. We do know that. Um... Even if foe initiates combat, unit attacks twice, so this is uh, dual phase brave. If foe initiates combat and unit's res is greater than foe's res, unit can counterattack before foe's first attack. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to assume she's going to be slow, which makes sense, this being Camilla. And Probably. you definitely want to stack res and attack for this. Looks like it, yeah. Yeah. She's a player. She's like an... Mixed phased uh, flyer, though, right? I don't. Yep. How good is a mixed phased flyer? I mean, your only real worry is bow enemies, so. Right. Not that bad. So I guess if you do use like IO shield, it could be fine, but I don't know. I mean, if all else fails, I guess you can turn this into like a player phase unit, right? There's nothing stopping you from that. It, nothing's stopping you from doing anything to a lot of units, so That's I can see player phase working well. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, uh, Seal Res 4. What are the new Seal Res? Inflicts Res minus 4 on foe during combat. Hmm. And if no effect... Wait, what? Oh, sorry. If no effect neutralizes penalties to foe's res, inflict penalty on foe's res during combat equals to 7 minus the current penalty on foe's res. Minimum zero. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh I, I get it. I get it. Okay. So it's saying here that as long... Okay, so basically this turns any debuffs into a full minus seven no matter what. So even if you only have like a minus three debuff on the foe with steel res, um, with its skill, effectively you get a full minus seven because seven minus three is four. So to compensate for just having three uh, visible debuffs, it gives you four uh, in combat debuffs to make that make it that full seven. So long as uh, there's no penalty neutralization on the foe. Okay. Does that make sense? I think that's how that works. Yeah. A little bit. Okay. If penalty is active on foe's res, inflict special cooldown charge minus one on foe per attack during combat. So guard. Guard is... Having guard on here is already a really good upgrade. Obviously, this is... It, it really is. That that already makes it so much better than the other seal res. Um, yeah. And then... Uh, uh, yeah, only highest value applied, just not stack. Inflict res minus 7 on foe through its next action after combat. So it still keeps that, like, um, debuff afterwards. Interesting. Honestly, I'm not sure how the good this is, to be perfectly honest. Yeah. I think it's like, you can't have some sort of a... What, uh, which skill am I thinking of? I guess Unity is the one that I'm thinking of that would neutralize penalties. Um, neutralizing penalties are like distant defense or close defense, I think. Oh, that's... that's or the, one, or yeah. the bond skills. Or Brave Hector. <laughs> <laughs> True. Okay. But yeah, I, I mean, as a B skill, I don't think this is actually that good. Um, like the only thing this gives is really is guard. Mm -hmm. And... 
effects only if uh, there's a penalty on the foe's res. So honestly, I just think like it would be better just running a guard skill. I mean, you are getting the res minus four, which will always give you the guard effect no matter what, so... Well, I mean, if you have penalty neutralization or like... I mean, that res minus four is during combat, so it doesn't actually apply to that condition on the guard. So... True. Like... I don't know. This I don't think this is that good of a skill. <laughs> don't fodder well, this. Skill skills yeah. have never been good in general. Yep. So, so I guess I guess we'll continue that trend. Yep. But hey, brave Camilla, let's go. A second brave Camilla. <laughs> no hard feelings, dear. No third, because her uh, base alt wants to be able to brave X before it. Oh really? Okay, yeah. third brave. Alt. Wow. There you go. This is why Camilla deserves to win CYL. Just saying. <laughs> Uh, I believe you mean Azura. <laughs> Don't worry, she'll get her shot. Kind of Chance before. to shine soon. Copium. All right, why don't you go ahead and read us what Wyvern Ono is? Yep, that's, that's right. actually how you pronounce it. Wyvern Ono grants defense res plus five and inflicts speed minus eight on units. Unit attacks twice, even if foe initiates combat, still attacks twice. And deals damage equal to 20% of units defense and reduces damage oh. from the attack by 20% of, of units defense, excluding AoE specials. So this okay. is uh, Spring Maria, effectively. Yeah. I forget. Spring Maria, but without uh, all the craziness. <laughs> yeah. I forget. Does Spring Maria have also like defense-based damage reduction in her weapon? Or is it just like this flat damage reduction? Let's I, see. I don't remember. Hmm. Bec let's let's see. Spring Maria. No, okay. Spring Maria only has the twenty percent, the flat damage reduction. Um, but okay. Obviously, she also like neutralizes effective against flying and um, restores the healing and the healing. But it was yeah. uh, Flow Flight that actually gave her additional damage reduction on the B. That's the one. Right. Okay. So this is like a brave. So this is exchanging, I would say, survivability for more attacking power in the form of brave hits, which is obviously super strong, especially with the true damage coming from the 20% of units defense. Yeah. Yeah. Honestly, I feel like Camilla would be better with this AD or near trace, and then you'd swap this with like either guard or flow flight, but I guess IS can't <laughs> allow us to Maybe. have pre-built units. It, you say that, and yet there are already a lot of really good pre-built units in the game. As I, I as know, speak, so <laughs> that's yeah. <laughs> all right, and we also have attack, defense, hold, which I think we all know what it, does. we've seen the hold skills before. But that's gonna be a good one for some units. Oh yeah, like yeah, there's a lot of units that can make good use of this. Oh yeah. So I think unlike um, last year. Where it's like focused on speed, this one's focused more on bulk. At least that's mm -hmm. the gist I'm getting. So far, we're two for two on that theory, Being so I say it's 100% confirmed. No <laughs> not subtle. Of course, Heath being the demo might put a wrench in this plans. Let's see what he uh, has. Nope. No, okay, never mind. Yeah, uh, no. Yeah. Wyvern Yumi Plus, effective against flying foes. Grants defense res plus five and inflicts speed minus eight on unit. That seems to be a trend. Unit attacks twice and it's dual phase. Yep. So, this is a pretty decent inheritable, I'd say. Um, it is. Yeah. Especially there's... if you're like a really bulky bow unit, like that's going to mm -hmm. be, oh, that's actually going to be terrifying on safe armors like Winter Felix and Ignatz. Oh yeah, that could be really strong options for them. It actually will be because... It gives you the bulk. You lose speed, but who cares? But right. you attack twice no matter what. Right. Um, All right, I know exactly what I'm giving those two units. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is... Uh, th I think this is a really good inheritable bow. Like, you can even just use it on, like, uh, just, like, regular infantry bows. Like, if we remember, like, the mm -hmm. classic Norn builds back in the day, I think Norn could make good use of this oh, as yeah. well. And, and she, she would really like that, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and, like, I think as long as you have, like, I think close foil or uh, close call, not close call, uh, close counter, I think mm -hmm. I think you can also get, um, like, an Ignis proc 
guaranteed as long Possibly. as you have like special acceleration because the enemy attacks you once that reduces ignis down to two and then you mm-hmm. attack once that charges up ignis and then because of the brave you hit again and obviously ignis will be charged by then so as long as you have special acceleration um you can make yeah. that work yeah it should be pretty easy yeah and pulse milk is also a really good thing to inherit for that as well uh catch is better yeah like a hundred times better probably <laughs> if you have like <laughs> attack catch four or something probably yeah all right let's see the out of left field duo As a player, <laughs> will i suffice it, this was out of left field you have to admit yeah. that. yeah i believe in you i mean Legard is a wyvern so i guess it it's true sense. and people at uh, I think I saw somebody theorize that it would have been Camilla and Leg Yarn as the duo. Really, I th- that would have been hilarious, but it, it would. It would yeah, I, I, anyway. I thought I thought people were theorizing that Camilla and Baruka as the duo. Honestly, that would have been cute. That would have. But anyways, uh, why don't you go mm-hmm. ahead and read a uh, Flame Frost Bow for us? All right, Flame Frost Bow accelerates special trigger coolant count minus one. Sl- nice little slain effect. Effect against flying foes, grants defense rest plus five, inflicts speed minus eight on units, unit attacks twice, also dual phase, mm-hmm. and then grants a bonus to units attack, defense, and res during combat equal to 70% of the highest value among the total bonuses of target and the total bonuses of an ally within two spaces of units. Okay. So basically... Okay, so she basically just takes whatever the highest uh, bonus is that both her foe and a nearby ally has, as long as it's, you know, attack, defense, or res, and mm-hmm. she just says, a good, like, 70% of this belongs to me now. Right. So, like, so, like, it basically just, like, if you have, like, plus seven on, like, mm-hmm. an ally on, like, speed or something, that means that um, uh, Legarn will get roughly i want to say around five ish uh bonus there, to yeah. attack defense and res um just for that huh i mean brave is obviously really good and having that bonus on attack is nice too mm-hmm. slaying will allow you to also uh proc moonbow a lot which is really oh, nice yeah. i'm Th- just that's already at a cooldown count in minus two so you're proccing that every time you play your phase mm-hmm. or enemy phase right I just wonder, like, I mean, obviously, uh, obviously they have self dance, which is really strong, but mm-hmm. they're a flyer, and that uh, that means that they obviously compete with uh, Linja when it comes to, I guess, like the self dance uh, Gale Force strats. I wonder they do. how they this really fares do. versus Linja because Linja has the advantage of being able to run disarm trap, which is really, really. A game changer I mean, when it comes to execution. You really want seal defense over <laughs> disarm trap on these? Like, come on. I mean, it sucks to get rid of seal defense for, but you have to do it for ether raids. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, obviously, I think this has more uh, combat power because I believe Linja just has like the brave, and that's it, right? I think so. The God, the early ninja units are so hard to remember sometimes, but I think it's just brave effect on them. Yeah, I should know this. I use Linja literally like every <laughs> Astra season. <laughs> um, I mean, no, uh, Lin has slaying, but other than that, yeah, it's just brave. Plus yeah, like the dagger brave. effect, obviously. But yeah. Mm-hmm. So yeah. yeah I, I would definitely say Legion and Fjorm here are definitely going to be better than Linja. Yeah, when it comes to combat, that's raids. like for sure. Yeah. It remains to be seen, like, like if like not running disarm trap is hinders like leg yarn in any way. Um, to to like warrant uh using leg yarn over Linja, or like if that extra combat like matters that much that you can use that. But I mean, again, like if you don't have Linja, this is an amazing addition to like any um any player phase oriented team. I would say definitely. Yeah, uh, I'm not gonna have you read Seal Defense Four. It's probably just the same. Yeah, we are. <laughs> we already know what that was thanks to Camilla. Yep, and yeah, you all know my opinions on the Seal Defense Four skill. Uh, not good. <laughs> Again, Seal has never been a good skill. 
<laughs> yeah. Um, I'm I'm surprised uh they came with like attack res catch four. That probably means that uh Leg Yarn is pretty slow. I mean, we'll see their skills when they show us the duo skills, so I guess that's true, yeah. Why yeah. don't we just move a little bit forward? In fact, I feel like everyone on this banner will be slow in some way because they're getting the minus eight. Yeah. Onto the speed. So right. yeah, she so, has 19 speed. Yeah, that's obviously not a good speed stat. Yeah. Hmm. I, yeah, th this is interesting. I don't know. I feel like I prefer Linja more, <laughs> to be perfectly honest. <laughs> like, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, the, the ability to quad with Linja and Ninjoran is mm -hmm. definitely a bit better, but... 48 49 on the defense and rest. That is true. That's that is a really lot of survivability. Of yeah. Yeah. And let's be real, there's no um, bow far save units in Ether Rates these days. So we don't have that to worry true. about uh, IO Shield. So yeah. Well, okay. You say that now, but now everybody's going to throw a far saver bow on their teams. Just there's to no them. way that will happen. Like ascended Legion. I can I mean, see at least Asc five different people doing okay. that right now. <laughs> okay, sure. There will be people that do that, but I'm fairly certain the vast majority of people will stick to like Brave Hector or ascended Idun, um, or like <laughs> I don't know Duma since it's his bonus season right now. Um, but yeah, interesting. I can, still see, I can still see some people doing it. Just oh, saying. for sure. <laughs> Let's see if there's like anything in addition nope. to the nope. Okay, never nope. mind. It's still the uh, still Gale Force. Yeah. Okay, I'll have to think about this a lot because I don't know. The power of the ninja. Prepare yourself. I do like the unique sure. take on this though, being like more slow instead of like the fast ones From we've had shadows. in the past. Oh, definitely. Your life is Although it's kind of fitting because wyverns in any Fire Emblem game are never fast. Mm -hmm. So they kind of did have to hinder all their speed no matter what. Yeah, that's true. And of course we have Har as our uh, Tempest Trial. Let me see if there's like... Nope. Okay, let me see if there's like uh, anything on Reddit about Har... Uh, okay, apparently not. So yeah, overall, a very... I, I personally really like this banner a lot. Obviously, Cherche finally getting an alt is really nice. Um, That's a big win. That is a huge win, for sure. Um, one day, uh, Baruka will get hers as well, uh, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> Again, I, I stand by this statement. Baruka would have made more sense than Camilla here. Just saying. I mean, I, 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 look, would... I know they wanted Camilla on here just so it could sell. But you already have <laughs> Legyar and you already have Cherish. It was going to sell no matter what. I mean, that that's true. And I think, yeah. personally, I would have preferred a winter Camilla alt with, like, there's because there's just so many good arts of, like, a winter-themed Camilla that I think would work really well. That would well. have been cute. Yes, that would have been really would. cute. But, I mean, I'm still happy for all the Camilla fans for finally getting oh, yeah. an alt after, I think, three years. Uh, I think her last one was the Brave. So, yeah, three years. Um, and, yeah, obviously, Legyarn and Fjorm is really interesting. Although, again, I I still... I, I'm very interested to see how they perform compared to Linja in, like, practice. I think it's just going to... Oh, my bad. I think it'll just depend on, do you want a lot of bulk or do you want a quad? Mm -hmm. I think that's all it's going to boil down to. Right. Which... Yeah, which is hard to tell without actually having these units um, in our mm -hmm. hands. Uh, what are your thoughts on this banner? I think I've said my piece multiple times. Brooke would have been better, but I'm very <laughs> happy that Shersh has an alt. All right. And I'm, I'm still surprised that it's Legar and Fjorm for the duo. I'm surprised as well. Uh, I mean, they're cute, but yeah, uh, I'm very interested in them being the duo compared to... I don't know, like Camilla and Baruka, for example. Uh, yeah. But yeah. Granted, it was, I think Bjorn Legaren was going to be a dual unit no matter what, just mm -hmm. because people ship the heck out of them oh, they everywhere do. you a go. Lot. So <laughs> it, it had to happen one of these days. It so at the very least, we ripped that band aid off. We're good to go. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, but yeah, thank you all so much for watching this reaction. Hopefully, you all enjoy it. 
let me know down in the comments uh, what your thoughts are on this banner. And yeah, be sure to like, subscribe, hit the bell, all that jazz, not only to my channel, but to Theron's channel as well. The link will be in the description down below. And yeah, once again, thank you all so much for watching, and see you all next time. Bye, everyone! Farewell and game on!